What's the crack, lads? Welcome to our weekly update, and we're also going to be throwing our player of the week review into this video because there isn't that much going on with the weekly update. I think, yeah, we'll get into it in a second, but we are going to go through what is new in the game. So we do have the login bonus that we continue to get. The Blue Lock collaboration campaign with the trainers is now into its second week, so you can just continue to log in and get all of those. You're also going to get your fifth, I think it's your fifth player from the Blue Lock collaboration, right? So we will open that later on on stream, uh, but you get your collaboration campaign as well. Uh, that is the new player that you're going to be getting here. There's nothing else really going on, man, with, with the game in, in, in terms of that. They are looking at taking a, a look at accounts that are, you know, being naughty little boys. Um, but that is something that I feel is going to be... Yeah, I mean, if people are cheating, I think they definitely deserve to be just banned, man, altogether. Completely just banned altogether. I don't understand why people cheat in video games, man. I really don't get it, man. But we are going to get that Blue Lock collaboration campaign again. And the rest of the stuff that you're going to be getting here is either stuff that you've earned. So you can earn these from the event rewards or anything like that. You can see that we have everything here, uh, including the Arsenal standards that we got from playing the events. So that's simply just playing against the AI events that came last week or came on Monday. Um, so once you go in here, this is going to be all your new stuff that you're going to be getting. Depending on how many players you've unlocked, we will have a couple in here to open. So you do have two two opened already and we have three more to spin for we're going to be getting all of these players anywhere anyway it's just a case of when and not if um it's the same as the daily game as well right they've also added these two new players which are stoichkovic and nakata who are part of the j league boosters we will do a review on those if you guys want me to let me know in the comments below if you spun from but effectively lads all of these players now are pretty much the same any creative playmaker attacking midfielder with high pass and high tie possession but low speed and acceleration are going to handle very very similar right so we will do a review on them they're not bad cards obviously they get a plus two booster as well we won't do that video here we'll just stick to the player of the weeks but if you do want me to do a creative playmaker style video like we did for the classic number 10s that is also something to look at as well again same booster he's got a lot of player skills i actually like nakata way back when when i first started the football 22 he was one of my favorite players to get on the ball but now the game has kind of changed quite a bit and there's a selection of players in there as well right we also have the national march 28 team of the week or player of the week team uh players from national teams there's a couple of strange choices in here no endrick lads unfortunately there is no endrick i was I was convinced that he wouldn't come. I was very, very, very sure he wouldn't come. Now, we did think that he could come in a kind of a, like a lesser pack or part of the pack. But yeah, I mean, it was a very, very rare chance that he was actually going to come. But you've got Zielinski in here. To be honest, lads, I'm not going to beat around the bush, man. Vritz is a good player Um, to do a review on them. Vritz is a good player. We'll come back to it in a second. But I just feel, man, honestly, the, like I don't understand. Apart from these players being for newcomers... I don't get where the player of the week is going. Like, the booster is definitely a sign of things, you know, improving with the player of the weeks. And Vritz is a good card. His standard card has also been given a boost up as well. He's got some lovely skills, man. But the problem with these cards is that once their rating kind of goes and they're going from an A to a B or even to a C, like, the cards become very non-usable because, like, you want consistency. Especially, look, if you're playing for rank and you're playing to go up to divisions... You need to have a consistent, you know, 15, 16 players every single game. You need your starting 11 and to go from there. The rest of the cards in the, in, in, in here as well, you've got your another whole playing attacking midfielder here. Um, Baumgartner, this guy again, ball control type possession. Just all average stats, man. I, I just don't, you know, 82 type possession with 80 balance for a run and gun attacking midfielder that has 82 finishing and 87 acceleration. Like, it's a very, very nice card, but I, I mean... These these cards are a dime a dozen, man. They're like Pedri, even standard Pedri, um, who, you know, I just feel like these cards, especially now, they just don't really sit in with where the game is at, especially when you've been given a lot of cards for free. And these cards are spins, you know, they're first spins. So it is a strange one. I mean, we also have Johnson here from Wales, center forward, 91 speed, 92 acceleration, 87 finishing. And of course, you're going to be getting a manager boost as well to these but his balance is really low, his type possession is really low, he's not the tallest, so his aerial ability isn't great, so, I mean, why play somebody like this if you've got somebody better? Now, again, 
if somebody has never played the game before and they're downloading this game today and they're spinning for this guy, I mean, he can bag you in a goal a game. There's no, there's no issue there. But the problem is, is that like this, these players cost you coins, man. They cost you money. So unless you're getting free coins, it's going to cost you. We already have Bento. Uh, we've had, I think, another version of him before. 78 goalkeeper parrying. Reflexes don't get into the 90s. Um, but yeah, he doesn't have a face either. Low point, long throw. Fairly okay goalkeeper. Celso, we have him here as a whole playing left midfielder, but can play attacking midfielder as well. Just another average player, no booster. Some nice player skills. Double touch, one touch pass. Doesn't have any low lofted or weighted true pass if you're playing him on the middle and he doesn't have pinpoint crossing if you're playing him on the left so again it's another bit of a strange card uh we have Zielinski here we have Malin here that we said here very very fast as a winger good finishing but listen lads you can get a lot of these cards nowadays with good good acceleration good type possession good balance and good finishing at around 85 there's a lot of cards that you can train for that Zielinski is probably the pick of them lads as a central midfielder that's kind of an attacking base player like Barella very, very good player, unwavering form, tight possession is good, acceleration is good, passing is good, actually his de tackling and defensive engagement is quite good as well for a whole player, uh, defend or whole player AMF uh, style CMF, double touch, one touch pass, first time shot, true passing as well as area superiority, long range curl and long range shooting, so he's kind of got a bit of everything in fairness to him, he's probably the pick of it, you also have Munoz here as well, attacking full back, just pace, lads, and a bit of aggression. That's all you need from your attacking fullbacks. He's got interception and blocker as well, which is nice off the rip. Uh, we've got another center forward that's going to be your target man, even though he's down as a fox in the box. He gets striker's instinct, so he gets the max booster there. Finishing is going to be around 90 with the manager booster. Attacking awareness is going to be about 90. And acceleration isn't too bad, but his balance is going to be a killer like Haaland. You have Nelson Samido as well who gets the booster. Now, this guy with Zielinski is probably the pick of him, lads. I'll be honest. Speed, acceleration, balance, and stamina is fairly decent. Aggression is nice. He's got some good uh, player skills as well. One-touch pass, soul control, pinpoint passing, uh, or pinpoint crossing, track back, Marseille turn, chop turn, double touch. Very, very nice card. Very, very impressive fullback. If you are using an attacking fullback, not defensively, and then you have roles to round it off left back who's more of a defensive fullback as well. So I do feel like that the cards are okay for newcomers, but yeah, for everything else, they're not. The rest of the cards that we have there are just the traditional ones. And then we do have a brand new campaign as well. So this campaign is now kicking off um, today just to kind of clear up this weekly update review. This uh, team play fun is back there. You've got a penalty shootout as well against the PvP. So that's online. You've got your Japanese clubs and of course the spanish clubs is ongoing so this penalty shootout here people have actually been asking me about this uh this morning on the discord and just talking about it so this penalty shootout is basically exactly as it says you just start it up you take a you do a shootout and whoever wins gets the reward so it can take you very little time to get a lot of trainers the other one which is usually against the pvp that is for your uh, coins and skill trainers the ai event that they've added here they've added a second selection which is going to actually give you the ultimate reward of a brand new kit so if you didn't want to buy the kit that comes with the Inzaghi pack you will now be able to get this kit as well as another chance deal with the blue lock so you play the first match you get a chance deal you play the second match you get a chance deal and then you get your last uh, reward as your blue lock white team uh, kit there as well so you should have all the blue lock players by the end of this because you'll have five more to open i think there'll be one left i think so you'll have seven of the eight god after this the other one i think is to come in a different campaign i think and then you also have this one with the national team stars that's going to be your free player of the, of the week spin um so yeah it's going to be an interesting couple of days man i think now that is there a bit of hype gone for the you know v3.4 I personally think there is. We're going to try and stream a little bit today. I'm really busy with work at the moment, but we will try and stream today um, with some of the Player of the Weeks. We have a few coins in this profile and see if we're able to actually spin some good ones to test them out. The actual penalty, spe uh, penalty special game is still ongoing here. And they've added new lap rewards to that, as you see here, if you missed that the other day. But you can now have about 30 laps, and there's some new players added to that. What they'll just do is they'll just continue to add stuff into this. So you can get Jack Wilshire now booster in that as well. I will do a review on these players quite soon. But yeah, let me know your thoughts, lads, on V3.4. That's pretty much it. It's going to be events, new cards, and rinse and repeat Monday and Thursday. I think that's going to be it for the next couple of weeks and next couple of months, until we actually hear some brand new news that we're going to be getting and the next update that we get. So let me know what you guys think. I will talk to you in a little bit. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And also, I hope to see you guys later in the stream. Until then, peace.